Hello, this is tutorial number 15. Today we'll be talking about CB blogs and this will probably be a two-part tutorial because CB blogs is what we like to call a component plugin and if you look at the plugins list we see CB blogs also has a blogs button right below it so it has the parameters but it also has a blogs button that brings us to a blogs area here. So let's just go back and take a look at what CB blogs really is. Let's look at the parameters. Besides the global parameters, there's a set of specific ones. Uh, the first thing is a general, which we leave as is. The blogs tab. If you look at the model here, there are basically three options. Internal is the default, which means that Community Builder and the CB Blogs plugin, to be specific, will be storing blogs in its own internal database uh, tables. You can also elect, either elect, in instead of internal, you can select Joomla or K2 if you have K2 installed. Uh, for starters, we'll best, for this tutorial, we'll start with the internal uh, setting in order to see the basics. And then the next tutorial, number 16, we'll switch to Joomla storage to see how we can use CB blogs with Joomla categories. Okay, so these are the default settings, basically. So there's a mode. Uh, drop down which allows us to select intro and full intro only and full only if you remember in Joomla uh, there you can basically split an article into two sections uh, that separated by a read more line uh, internally the storage of a Joomla article actually has two fields one for the intro section and one for the uh, follow-up the full section so the reason we're following uh, this uh, storage uh, example of Joomla is, is evident in these drop downs. Now, I'm just going to leave intro and full. Basically what this means, the user in the front end will see two distinct areas, one to put in two distinct editors, one to put in the uh, introduction, and in order to put in the follow-up content. So let's just leave it like this, for example, for, for starters. Now, the categories list, since it's an internal mode, we have to basically provide the categories. So the default here is general, movies, music, games, and sports. You can make changes here or add more. It's a comma-separated list. You can expand as needed. Uh, let's just leave it for registered users to create access no limit we can actually put a limit here on how many blogs a single user can perform and we can actually turn on approval or captcha but the captcha would basically need the CB uh, anti-spam so you would probably need an advanced or professional subscription to get that and auto delete is enabled by default which means if we delete this user his blogs the user blocks will also be deleted. So let's just leave this default and save and close. And let's go as a user in the front end and see in the blocks tab and create a new block. So we'll see. We're asked if we want to publish or not. So we can keep it unpublished until we're satisfied. Which category? It's a drop down that gives us which category we want to post this blog under. Let's just keep it general. The axis, we can specify public or registered. Title. Let's give it a title. This is my first internal CB blog. And let's just put the intro part. CB blogs is great and this also as I mentioned the second part here is the full 
full blog with CB blogs. Hope I'm running it right. Logs. You can create blogs on your profile page. Okay, let's just create blog. And we'll see there's a row here. We'll see there's no link here because the blog isn't published. General category and the creation date. And in the drop down, I can edit, publish, or delete. If I publish, then we'll see that there's this. The title actually becomes a link, and if I click on the link, I will see the two parts I put in. The CB blog is great. Space with CB blogs, you can do blogs on your profile page. So basically, internal mode will let you basically create a blog, and somebody will actually view the blog going to your user profile and looking at the blog list and clicking on things. Now, if I go to the back end and click on this blogs uh, component button, we'll actually see all the blogs that have been created on our website. Which user created it? The access level, if it's published or not. And we can actually go ahead and unpublish something here if we don't like it. If we don't like it. We can search for foreign published or published blogs, access levels, categories. We can look, if we look for movies and do a search, we should get nothing here. If we look for general, we should get all three. Okay, I think this is enough for the first part. In the next part, we'll be showing you how to combine CB blogs with Joomla content storage. This way you can take advantage of uh, the capabilities that Joomla has to actually uh, display and organize content on your website. Thanks for listening. See you again next tutorial. Bye-bye.